Uh, hello, coach. Congratulations on the win. Thank Except uh, Nikola Jokic, who scored 50 points. Neither uh, none player of uh, Denver Nuggets scored more than 12 points. What it means about the effort, the effort and the intensity on a defensive event of your team, and also what did you see from Tyrese Halliburton today? Thank you. Yeah, uh, again, I, I thought our guys did a great job. Uh, you know, we didn't. Uh, he, 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 the Joker ended up with 12 assists still, um, but he, he's just such a, a brilliant playmaker. We we would have, you know, game planning was to, you know. Prefer him scoring over playmaking for everyone. So I thought our guys did a nice job of that, and he still ended up with 12 assists. But um, you know, we didn't send a lot of double teams at him tonight, and he made us pay for that. Uh, but again, that's why we're looking to do what what we feel is best for our team. And uh, you know, I thought that our team held, holding the other guys at bay, uh, you know, gave us that that chance to win tonight. So good, good team effort, good team defense by our group. I know they scored a lot in those last couple minutes, but for the most part, we were really good defensively. Uh, and Ty continues to just, you know, he makes big plays. James here. Hey, Luke, it, it seems like it was just yesterday you guys were 5-10 and 10 on the season. Now you're 11-11, you clawed back to 500. Just how surprised are you that it's turned around so quickly and that you guys are – you guys have become so competitive um not surprised just you know i just just really overall pleased with our you know with the way we're playing uh you know I, again i, I give it you, you give the players all the credit they they've just even at five and ten and and, and uh on, on a on a losing streak not having you know hassan and uh you know our defensive numbers just through the roof bad like we just kept coming into work and, to, and, and giving the effort and, and uh, you know, watching this group start to grow together is a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, you know, it's winning at a pretty high level right now, but for me, more importantly, it's the way the consistency that we're playing with, uh, which I love to see. So uh, very, uh, very pleased with the group and happy um, at the progress we're making. Hi, George. Hey, Coach, back in preseason, we saw De'Aaron taking and missing a lot of, uh, of three-point shots. And now to today, going four of seven throughout the season, it seems like he's just so much more confident in that weapon. Uh, and you talked earlier during preseason saying that's when you want him to take and, and get those shots and get that confidence up. Can you just speak to the, the confidence that he has in that outside shot today? Yeah, uh, it, he's so. What I think he's doing a really nice job of is looking to attack first. I mean, that, that that's what really uh, makes him a special player is his ability to get uh, get to the rim, to get around people, the way he sees the game, uh, his intelligence as a basketball player, and, and then when teams are going under screen and rolls, and we're getting later in the shot clock, and we've tried to look for an advantage uh, first that now that's when he's taking those threes and, and, and you know, and, and he's making them and that's what we want. And um, I'll never tell him to turn down an open three. We, we talk about what is in our opinion, a good three versus a, a, a bad three, but he's, he's really doing a nice job of, of kind of leading and, and, uh, and taking his game to another level. And a big part of that is, yeah, shooting that three with confidence. Jason Jones. What kind of energy that's unique that, that that Hassan brings to the court, just on the court in the locker room, it just seems like today, just even when he blocked the, the, the dunk attempt by Green, the guys feed off his energy in a way that you don't have another guy quite like that. Yeah, he's really uh, he's really done a nice job um, of, of of becoming one of the team you know the, the players favorites as far as the, he's just he has such a great personality and he's always uh you know he, he's in a, a joyful mood he, he you know he, he's been in the league a long time and he he knows he knows a lot about uh the league and, and as far as you know being a vocal guy in film sessions and on the court um you know, when we we played in uh, Tampa, we had a little outdoor patio that he, you know, they were all watching games together and he was kind of holding 
uh, holding court. We were social distancing. We were outside, but he was, you know, you could hear him kind of holding court as, you know, other NBA games were on. And uh, he's done a nice job of, of, you know, building that, that chemistry for being a new player on a team. Mm-hmm. Hey, Luke, uh, just back to the accomplishment of getting back to 500, you know, so many times throughout the season, you get those little milestones, just how, important do you want your or how much do you want your team to enjoy being able to get back to 500 and the magnitude of that yeah we we always want to enjoy it but we don't ever want to be satisfied um and you know i i think that you know we to win in this league is really hard and you got to enjoy you have to enjoy the ride but you have to uh you know you have to also keep in perspective where we're trying to get to and we know we have a long way to go still and uh so you know it's one of those things that yeah we feel good about how we're playing we feel good about winning again uh but we're also getting ready to go on a plane and fly down to a team that's uh, beat us pretty badly twice already and is you know one of the the the, the best teams in our league so um you know enjoy it for a while and then we get into LA and start watching film and, and our mindset has to be towards the Clippers and getting better again all right just two more uh Jason Anderson Hey, Luke, nice win, sir. Um, you know, Buddy's uh, buddy's streak of 87 consecutive games with a three-pointer ended tonight, or today, rather, uh, and yet he's making the unselfish play, the pass to, to Tyrese in the corner. Um, well, you know, what, what does it say about him as a player and then where you guys are at as a group that, you know, he didn't force something there and he was just worried about making winning plays? Yeah, he, he, he really did. I told him that after the game. Uh, I said, well, you know, he, I thought his defense was, was solid tonight. I thought that seven assists and zero turnovers. Um, and, and that's the point we're trying to make with everybody. Like it, it, for us to be a good team, we have to find ways to help us win when our shots aren't going. And Buddy is normally helping the group by being an elite knockdown shooter. Um, and his shot was off tonight. So what did he do? He, he, he was selfless and he found other ways to help the team win. And that's a, that's a great sign, uh, you know, for us as a, as a group uh, and for him as a player. So uh, really, really pleased. We did everything we could for him. We drew up all the plays in the playbook to try to try to get him one. But uh, it was just an off off night shooting, uh, but very pleased with his, his game tonight. All right. Last one, Tony Harvey. Yeah. Great win tonight. Uh, Coach Walden, I uh, just want to step back to uh, Jason and Matt question about the threes. Um, obviously, you know, you had three players that had four or more uh, shots behind the – made shots behind the uh, – beyond the yard so that they picked up the slack for a uh, buddy. Is that something that you guys been working out, you know, during practice, letting them put up a little bit more shots beyond the yard, you know, to get more comfortable with that? Yeah, no – yeah, we well, we got a we got a great uh, group of player development coaches, and we do we get a lot of shots up. Uh, you know, yesterday was mainly just film and nothing but shots, knowing that we had this early uh, twenty hour back to back coming. Uh, so we, we we do get a lot of shots up. Our player development staff does a great job with organizing that, um, and, and shooting threes is a big part of that. Uh, of what they they look to get done every day, whether before practice, after practice, or in yesterday's case, the the main part of practice just being shot. So uh, it's good to see, um, you know, good to see that that paying off.